Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. This evening, we're doing two miles. The first one for a fallen patrolman who lost his life in the line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen patrolman Troy Floyd. He worked with the Summit Police Department in Mississippi and is under watch was August 8th of 2024. He lost his life after he was shot and killed by a passenger in a vehicle that was stopped at a checkpoint. His age was not readily available, but we do know he served 20 years of service uh, with the Summit Police Department and leaves behind a wife along with children. This evening, I'll be running the blind flag in his honor. I'll be joined by the Winter Springs Police Department patrolling behind us, and we're going to have a UCF police officer joining us in the run, along with my family. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in our whole family and department through the hard time we are going through. Then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, tonight, Deck Ride running his first of two miles this evening in honor of two heroes recently lost in the line of duty. This first mile tonight in honor of fallen patrolman Troy Floyd. He served with the Summit Police Department in Mississippi, tragically losing his life on August the 8th, 2024. And he lost his life after he was shot and killed after a passenger in a vehicle that approached a checkpoint opened fire on this patrolman. His age was not readily available, but we do know he served in law enforcement for over 20 years. He leaves behind a loving family that includes wife and children. As Zechariah completes his lap, he'll be completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile this evening, to honor the life of fallen summit patrolman Troy Floyd. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help us honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. And tonight, helping Zechariah honor fallen patrolman Troy Floyd. We have members of the UCF Police Department running alongside Zechariah tonight and patrolling a member of our hometown agency, the Winter Springs Police Department, also running and walking tonight with Zechariah, Zechariah's little sister, Chloe. Again, we're here to pay tribute to fallen Summit Police Department, Mississippi, patrolman Troy Floyd, who tragically on August the 8th, 2024, Lost his life after he was shot and killed after a passenger in a vehicle opened fire as they approached a checkpoint. And while his age was not readily available, we do know that he served in law enforcement for over 20 years. He's behind a loving family that includes wife and children. As Zechariah completes this lap, he'll be completing his second of seven laps tonight, which is one mile to honor the life of fallen patrolman Troy Floyd. For every mile that our runners complete, they carry a unique flag, and each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor. Tonight, Zachary is carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen patrolman Troy Floyd, along with the note that Zachary wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission, you can visit running, the number four, heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission. As Zechariah completes his second lap and begin, or sorry, completes his third lap and begins lap number four, I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps to reflect on life this year today. Fallen patrolman Troy Floyd. We extend our heartfelt prayers to the entire Floyd family. We also lift up in prayer everybody with the Summit Police Department mourning the loss of this hero tonight. Our hope and prayer is that this run honors him well, and we thank him for his many years of service to his community and to the state of Mississippi.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen patrolman Troy Freud? To the whole family of patrolman Floyd, his wife and children, along with all the members of the department he served for, we hope all be healed very soon to this loss. Uh, we lost patrolman Floyd due to a senseless act of, of someone shooting him at a checkpoint. Could have been avoided very easily with one person's decision. I say that a lot. And um, it keeps happening. We just hope this run helps out patrolman Floyd's family. Uh, we pray that this run continues to show the gun violence is a problem across not only first responders, but in the community in general. We pray this run helps you out. So our part of the family's blind flag will be sent to you very soon. Along with a handwritten note, we pray it helps you out. At this time, if all of you now join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like a 21 gun salute, each second day can one amazing thing patrolman employed during his life. Following this will also be a prayer, so at this time, please join us. Heavenly Father, this evening do one more run for a fallen patrolman who lost his life in the line of duty. God, I pray, watch over his family and department and his whole department in Southern Mississippi through this loss. God, I pray, continue to watch over our police officers from gun violence, which is the number one cause of death amongst our uh, police officers. And I pray, continue to uh, use their, their gift of being a police officer to save lives across the nation. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this one mile. We have one more to do tonight. Please in tune for that mile. We all have a great and safe night, especially for first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all. Well.